I still have some retained heat in my oven, so I'm going to use it to make some potato stacks, also known as potato pave. You make this dish in two stages. The first stage is very much like a potato gratin, except you cut the potato into much thinner slices, and then you bake the dish and then let it cool overnight in the refrigerator. The next day, you start a fire in your oven and you take the potato terrine cut it into slices or squares, and then you saute them. So as you can imagine, this takes a little bit of an investment in time, but the results are really delicious, and it's a fun way to impress your guests. The temperature I'm looking for is around 350 Fahrenheit, that's 180 centigrade. But I'm gonna begin the dish at a slightly higher temperature, knowing that the oven will cool while the dish is in the oven. If you don't have any retained heat, you can just as easily make this first stage in a conventional oven. So the ingredients for this first stage are three peeled potatoes, three quarters of a cup of heavy cream, some nutmeg, some clarified butter, salt, and finely ground black pepper. I'll begin by using the heat of the oven to melt the clarified butter. I'm going to make this first stage in my cast iron loaf pan made by Staub. This has very good heat distribution, but any good loaf pan will work fine. To prepare it, I'll brush the inside with some of the clarified butter. And then line it across the longest side with some parchment paper. and then brush on some more clarified butter. I'll add the cream to a bowl, add a pinch of salt, and some gratings of nutmeg. I want to cut the potatoes into thin slices, and the best way to do that is with a mandolin. I find it best to hold the potato first, keeping my fingers as far away from the blade as possible, and then finish by using the safety guard. Once all the potatoes are sliced, I'll toss them until they're coated with the cream mixture. I'll begin with my first layer of potatoes. Then add some clarified butter. And then sprinkle over some of the finely ground black pepper. Continue with additional layers of potato, clarified butter, and pepper until I've used all the slices. Then pour over any remaining cream mixture Fold over the paper on one side and brush with some more clarified butter. and then the same on the other side. Then I'll cover the dish with a double layer of foil, tightly sealed around the edges. Then it's ready to go into the oven. This will go into the oven along with this fire brick. The brick is to weigh the dish down and compress the potatoes when they're done. I like to do it this way because once the dish comes out of the oven, the warm brick will sit comfortably on top and the whole thing will cool down together.
then I'll put on the door. and leave to cook for about an hour and a half. Then remove the foil and peel back the parchment paper. Using a knife, I'll check to see if the potatoes are cooked. If the blade doesn't meet any resistance, then the potatoes are done. I'll fold the paper back over and cover with another double layer of foil and then place the warm brick on top to compress the dish. I'm going to let this cool for a while and then put the whole thing in the refrigerator overnight. So it's the next day and it's a pretty beautiful day. My potatoes have been in the refrigerator overnight so they're ready to be prepped. And I've prepared my oven by placing the fire in the back. And I've raised the temperature to around 650 Fahrenheit, that's 290 centigrade in the center of the oven floor. So the ingredients for this next stage begin with two tablespoons of vegetable oil, three tablespoons of butter, some sprigs of thyme, four cloves of garlic, some salt and pepper, and some chopped thyme. So to prepare the potatoes for cooking, I'll peel back the parchment paper. And gently run a knife along each end of the pan and carefully remove the potato tureen. Then I'll trim the sides to square it up. You can see the beautiful layers of potato compressed into a solid block. I'm going to cut this into eight equal squares. So I'm going to prepare the potatoes on my Blanc Creatives carbon steel pan. I like to use this because it has a low profile and the potatoes will benefit from some direct heat from the fire. But a good stainless steel pan or a cast iron skillet will work absolutely fine. So I'm going to begin by heating the pan in the oven. And then add the vegetable oil. Once the oil is hot, I'll place the potatoes in the pan. I'll cook them on one side until they turn a golden brown.
and occasionally rotating the pan to be sure they cook evenly. I'll gently turn them over and cook the other side. Carefully turn them upright and add the butter, thyme and garlic. And return the pan to the oven. I'll baste them with the butter to enhance the flavor. And finish cooking them until they are golden and crispy on the outside. and serve them with some more seasoning and some chopped thyme. I'm not, I'm going to look at the camera, mm -hmm. not you. It's not because I don't love you. <laughs> it's just I, I'm looking directly at the camera. All right. Um, 